As you know, I work on a lot of different stuff. Well, today we're at work and we're working on a 2018 Ford F-250 with a 6.2 liter gasoline engine. We just put a new engine, a new transmission in this truck, starter, radiator, hoses, a bunch of stuff. So, got it all back together, got ready to crank, and guess what? Spins over for about two seconds and won't crank. So, we'll hook up the scanner, try to get, see if it's got any codes for something we may have forgot to plug up. Any kind, of, any kind of problems that we can see. Looking at live data, don't see anything. So let's start doing a little uh, Google searching and start doing a little research on why it would only crank for two seconds and then stop spinning over because it would only spin for like two seconds and then the computer would shut it down. Well, one of the things it said was crankshaft position sensor. If it loses crankshaft position sensor, it's not going to continue to crank. So we got to looking at the old engine see you go uh, try to get an idea about the sensor uh, location because um, there's several of us putting this thing back together so we located that we're going to check the wiring to it and when i walked out to the old engine to look to see how everything was positioned out there yeah that's the chopper wheel for the sensor it is independent of the flywheel or flex plate. Um, so I got questions for it. Why? Why would you make this a separate piece from the flex plate? That makes no sense. This could have very easily been made in one piece and it would never have been forgotten. I'll never forget this lesson I learned today.